Welcome back to Ship Happens. We are outside again today. It's a bit windy, but it's not raining. Yeah, so we're going to basically take advantage of the warm weather, basically. Warm, windy. Warm, windy. You know, it is the UK. Yeah. So you're going to crack on underneath the exhaust today. Yeah. And I'm going to go down the front. So basically underneath the exhaust, there's loads and loads of scale. There's not much paint because obviously people don't like painting upside down, but just remove all the scale, try and get it back to bare metal as we can, and then we'll put like a rush treatment on it, and then we'll put a primer. And then... Yeah, so so obviously underneath then all of this area here, which goes the the the, the grey, the body colour, and obviously this is below the water line. So I'll scrape all this off, scrape all this off, all the way down. That's my target for the day. Originally she didn't have anything in the seams um, between each plank, there's no forking or coffin or anything like that. But she has over the years, you know, there has become gaps in between. So that's why I'm just going around and sealing them all off. Sometimes we try to be cool, not being givers, only takers. I look like I've just done that dead quick because it's on time lapse, but that's a morning's worth of work. <laughs> so, go and have some lunch. I'm so fed up with this exhaust. It's like ages you work it above your head, knocking all the um all the scale off. I think when we are on the hard it'd be great to get like a needle gun under there. Obviously I haven't got a compressor or a needle gun or I don't really want to do it anyway because imagine the noise. But I'm just gonna get as much off as I can, then we're gonna put like some um, some rush treatment on it underneath, then we're gonna give it a paint. <laughs> So I've done up to about there, as you can see, I've done all of the wood and underneath the exhaust. But the water is coming in now, so what I'm going to do is put some brush treatment under the exhaust on the underside because that never got done. But I'm not going to use the, the worf stuff that we used last time, I'm going to use the stuff, if you remember when I did it in the engine room, it's like a plate. 
somebody actually bought us this a while back, um, basically a present, um, and it was quite good. So, come highly recommended. I'm not really the best reader, I can't even read what that says. I'm not even going to try on camera. Um, but yeah, so of course I'm going to go and brush it on underneath and then we'll see how we get with the water. Water's coming in, we've got the pallets out, so we've got Gemma now to give me a hand. We're gonna fill the fill the cracks on the on the aft end just while we've got the pallets here. So Gemma's gonna pull it in, I'm gonna spread it out. Let's see if I can do it to a good standard. I just asked Simon if he could go around the other side of the boat to take a photo. Like, wow, the tide's in. I think it's too high, but don't drop my phone in the water. Yeah. It's all about knowing where the gullies are. I've forgotten. <laughs> oh, I know it. Well done. But well, you know when you come back it's gonna be higher. <laughs> you can't receive it here. It's too choppy the water. So. Right, hopefully Simon goes and takes a good thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> and here we witness David Bailey <laughs> trying to take a nice photograph. Will he achieve the golden shots that we require? He's looking focused. <laughs> I'm not very good at photos. <laughs> oh, this tide's coming in fast. Still, um, still really, really windy. It's been windy all day, but it's been sunny. But actually, the wind, it's really windy, but the wind generator's actually stopped, so the batteries must be fully charged, which I'm not surprised with all the, uh, the sun today and the wind. It's real under pressure now, the camera's on you. <laughs> Maybe he shouldn't quit his day job and become a photographer, eh? <laughs> Maybe.
I've got a ship tiff now. Oh, God. Ship tiff of the day. Not done one of these for ages. <laughs> but we found of all the stuff that we've tried to get the paint off the hull, the best things have been these paint removal pads. Literally got them off Amazon. But um, normal flappy wheels dig into the hull too much. These are really good because they just they don't damage the wood. They just take the paint off. So if you are stripping paint off anything, um, give these a go. I will put a little link in the description. It's not. I don't get any money off it. It's not advertising. It's just if if it, it you may find it useful. So see how we go. That's you know that's majority of what we've done the whole with um, at the last painting party. Um, it's awful under here though. Like, it, I mean, the hull's not awful. It's just had that meant you know, it was all bad, wasn't it? But it seems to be the worst area it is underneath the exhausts for the old paint. But we're getting there. Literally, this is like the last of the old remaining paint now. So once that's <laughs> off. On the hull. This, yep. is, this is the last room. Oh, yeah, you yep. know, like above the water. Like, obviously, got all this. I'm thinking, no, we haven't we done it all. But yeah, obviously, we haven't done below the water line. So, yeah. Right. Get my mask on and back to scraping off the paint. Yeah, it's going to be a while, this one. Time lapse. Obviously, in the past, these planks have been repaired. As you can see, they're a different, different type of wood. Yeah, it looks like a roco. Yeah. But check out our rotten boat. Not so rotten, is she? Who says that? Some people. Some people. Oh, that boat's rotten. <laughs> it's rotten, that boat. It's not. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah, it's weird. Isn't it? Yeah. I think we are very lucky. Oh, the planks are good. <laughs> yeah. How good the planking is on this boat, and considering most of it's original, obviously apart from there is there is a few little um yeah uh, little you know repairs where planks have been changed. And we will have to do some of this. But you think some of these could have been repaired maybe because of like oh, bullet, bullet holes. <laughs> You read my mind. <laughs> oh. I would love to find a bullet hole or something. But yeah, but it would have been repaired in the yeah. 80s, so we're never going to find anything cool uh, like that, are we? So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to say all the bits that have this been repaired was, was a bullet, bullet hole. hole. <laughs> <laughs> right, I think we call it for today now. Yeah, now we're back when? We are going to be coming back in a couple of days. Yeah. All the sealants will be dry. And Robbo has agreed to put himself through another day's hard graft. I don't know why he punishes himself so much. Uh, <laughs> Bless him. Yeah. yeah, but we love Robbo and all our helpers coming yeah. to the boat and help because it really does help. And also, it it's nice to work with it's other people social. as well. It's yeah. Better than me and to get involved. So always with him. <laughs> so I think we might need to go off for some supplies. Yeah, we're selling discs. Okay, and then we will be back in a couple of days or in a couple of seconds for you. Yeah. And let's get this finished. So, we are at Wharf in Liverpool today and we are going to go in and get a few get bits a few that we supplies, need. Supplies, yeah. Time to go so shopping. Before we go in, you're not going to spend too much, are you? Do you know what I want to do? I want to do a supermarket sweep. So, let's go. <laughs> all we have is sanding discs. Hmm, let's go. <laughs> let's go. 
Time to go shopping. We've got copper spray. Maybe we should have painted our knees in copper instead of black. Should we get one? Or two? This is my kind of shopping. Why can't you just buy shoes and like bags like normal girls? Handbag. <laughs> Good night. You sell shoes. Look. See? You have to do fashion, couldn't you? Heavy duty handbag. Put all my, my tools in there. <laughs> so, if you shop at work online or in store and use the code SHIP HAPPENS, you will get a free gift. Let us know in the comments what your free gift was. Stuff! Yay! I'm happy now. You only come over some sanding this. I know. Shopping done. I even got Simon a new pair of shorts. So we're back. And I don't know why, but Robbo and Lee seem to be a glutton for punishment and they've come back to help again, which is absolutely fab. So Robbo at the minute is just taking out the windows and I'm going to get Lee suited up to finish scraping the underneath of the exhaust. Poor Lee. Poor Lee. He was last so he got the craft job. <laughs> cool, let's get to it. And it's sunny, a little bit windy, but it's a, I think it's going to be a nice warm day. So we're taking the windows out um, and replacing them. We've got some other ones that we can replace them with that have all been prepped and cleaned and are in a nice grey paint so we are slowly but surely every week taking some out put, taking them home and cleaning them up so we're going to get them all out today because I want all of this side to all the windows to be grey so that's what we're slowly but surely working on over the next coming weeks as well Is it a bit difficult? Yeah, it's loads of layers of paint on it, Jen. A little bit worried in case we damage this paintwork. Oh, 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 oh don't oh, damage me good paint. Oh, I broke it again. <laughs> Sorry. Not long ago, you got hurt. Someone did you wrong. I can see it in your eyes. It's like your fire is gone. Across your face, it is written across your face. If you want to talk, I'm right here, not gonna leave your side Just feel free to open up when the moment's right Across your face, it is written across your face If you want to go out, we can go out You can hide away just for one night But if you want to cry, just let it out I'm by your side now
So I am on the port side exhaust and it only had um, like one coat of paint on it that was thin so it needs a couple more layers. So I'm just sanding off just any little lumps and bumps, smoothing it down uh, and prepping it for another layer of paint. This is gonna look really good. It's like proper smooth now. Just feel it. So obviously there's not really much to film when we're doing painting because all the prep takes so long but so I started at the back down there and we worked all the way down there and it got to about there Paddy's, Paddy's starting on the front now so um yeah so it's going well but we've almost got it back to wood again but it's not used like the first coat of primers like a bit of a filler and now sand it all back it's really really smooth so Good. perfect weather in the shade on this side so you guys probably can't see it too well because of the, the lighting but it's going all right it's going good I'd love to know what little Patrick is saying to the camera during this time lapse. Unfortunately, we'll never know. It's so great to see such a young lad come and get stuck in with the help of his dad to learn new skills. And it, he's really, really lovely and it's been great working with him. We're on to the last bit of sanding now. Um, and then we can get some paint on the exhaust and some paint on the boat. But my issue is, We've only got four tins of paint left, so I don't think we're going to get to finish it all today, which is a bit rubbish, isn't it? get ready to paint and all the men are over there sanding it's very hard and Amelia's behind me helping well behind you I'm 
double check on the top for you, Amelia. Call me. What are you doing? Uh, I'm sinking. What we do, well, when we were stripping all the paints off this side, just the port side. <laughs> so, um, I went a bit far down down the front by the bow, so I don't really want to leave it unprotected. So I'm going to put some underwater primer on it. But I couldn't do that the other day because obviously the paint was wet. So it's kind of back mask onto the onto the grey, and then we're going to put some different kind of grey on underwater primer. So here we go. Can I trust you to paint me boat? <laughs> Yeah, it can't be that hard, can it? Oh, right, frog tape line is done. Are you ready? Yeah. What are we good? What time is it? What? What time is it? Painting time. Paint your boat time. Paint your boat time. Who's going to do it? Me. I'm tired, so I think the kids should do it. Yeah! Yeah. I've still got more paint, but that's all wet. Okay. Don't forget, you've got it overlap. looking amazing um nearly finished on the paint on the hull and now we're gonna go and um, put a coat of paint on the exhaust So after two weeks hard work, all finished and um, even the ground's nice and clean for everyone who comments saying oh, you're putting stuff all over the place, we're not at all. <laughs> go on, you can finish this episode. Really? Yeah? <laughs> yeah, go on. I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> so there we go. That was very unexpected to actually do both sides because that wasn't the plan wasn't originally. Fun, but we did it. We did it. We, we just about got there on the paint, didn't we? Because like <laughs> we got not that much paint yeah. left. <laughs> so that was good. I, I thought we were going to run out. But you done amazing today. I think the bit that you painted, Patrick, was definitely the best. Definitely the best. And what did we get to do? Paint the boat. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> paint the boat. Right. So that's it for a bit of outside yeah. work, isn't it? Yeah. Now. Hopefully next time we'll actually go back inside and do some. Um, some frames and web frames. Or oh, stringers! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How many st stringers are we going to do? Just same individually, so it's stringer, 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 <laughs> stringer, <laughs> stringer, stringer, anyway, stringer. Yeah. So, um, thank you all for coming. Uh, it was very unplanned for everyone to come today as well because we, we thought it was just going to be me and Simon. Bye! <laughs> 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 Got to keep that in.
<laughs> no, it's a bit windy. <laughs> Oh. Back again. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so thank you all and everyone else who's helped in the whole process because there's been so many people involved in it and we couldn't have done it without every one of you. So thanks for keeping coming back and been a pleasure. Enjoying the and we'll be back again. <laughs> thank you. So yeah. Definitely. And you. Have Thanks you had fun? Me. Yeah? Cool. Have you learned anything? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't come with your dad when he volunteers for this year. Really, yeah? Yeah, yeah. it did, didn't it? And next week you can learn how to do copper nails. <laughs> 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 Thank you all so much for watching. Cheers, See you guys. next week. Bye. 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 <laughs> Hello, Mum and my little sister Roxanne. I hope you have a nice time watching this video, and I'll see you later. <laughs>